F1 fans, you better buckle up and stay on track. You are now watching Track Limits. Welcome to Track Limits with me, John, the motorsport enthusiast. This is a revamped, re-engineered show focusing on everything that you need to know in the F1 world. Today's episode is going to be focusing on catching you up on everything that's happened so far in this year's Formula 1 season. So let's start at the beginning of the season. Our first two races took place in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, and we saw Max Verstappen dominate those and win those races. Then we saw Ferrari get their first win of the season in Australia. Moving to Japan and China, Max found his speed again winning back-to-back -back races. And then it was a moment we were all waiting for. Lando Norris won his very first Formula Formula One race in Miami. Now let's go to the home of Ferrari. You went to Emilia Romagna where you saw Max Verstappen again get the win. Following the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix, we then went to Monaco where we saw my favorite driver, Charles Leclerc, win the Monaco Grand Prix where he became the first Monegas driver to ever win the Monaco GP. Following Monaco, we went to Canada and Spain where you saw Max Verstappen win again back to back. But soon after this, Darkness fell over the winning ways of the Red Bull Garage. Yeah, Max won seven out of the first ten. But it turned a little sour for about four months. After Max's win in Spain, we saw George Russell give Mercedes their first win in Austria. Lewis Hamilton win in Great Britain. Piastri win the Hungarian Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton win in Belgium. Lando Norris got his second career victory in the Netherlands. Charles Leclerc won Monza. Oscar Piastri got his second win of the season in Azerbaijan. Followed by Lando Norris winning again in Singapore. Then Charles Leclerc getting the lead at Circuit of the Americas while Max and Lando battled and Charles Leclerc drove off into the Austin sunset. And then after that, you saw Carlos Sainz followed up with a win in Mexico. And we were all wondering, when is Max going to win again? Well, the Brazilian Grand Prix enters the chat. Conditions were absolutely horrible for the entire race weekend, but for Max Verstappen, it didn't stop him at all. Going from 17th to 1st and winning by 20 seconds, he became the sixth driver since 1950 in over 1,100 Formula One championship races to actually win a race from 17th or lower on the grid. So with all this being said, what are the point standings looking like? For the driver standings, you have Max leading with 393 points, Lando Norris in second with 331, and Charles Leclerc in third with 307 points. Now let's move to the Constructors' Championship. It actually kind of flip-flopped a little bit. You have McLaren leading the Constructors' Championship with 593 points, Ferrari in second with 557 points, and Red Bull in a close third with 544 points. So the battle in the Constructors' Championship is much closer to the battle in the Drivers' Championship with the last three races to go. And before we go into the last three races of the season, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any track limit episodes so you don't miss an ounce of formula one content and things going on in the f1 world these episodes will go out every single monday so make sure to stay tuned i'll also talk about things going on in f2 f3 and f4 now since this upcoming weekend is not a race weekend i won't go too deep in the weeds but we have the las vegas gp up next on the calendar that race is from the 21st to the 23rd followed by the guitar grand prix from november 29th to december 1st then we have the final race of the season the abu dhabi grand prix which is from december 6th to december 8th as it looks right now max verstappen has a pretty commanding lead and unless he has has multiple DNFs or multiple non-point finishes, he's going to win a his fourth championship, a back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back championship. You also have to keep in mind, you know, hopefully him and Lando can actually keep up within the track limits. Ah, see what I did? And that's where we are in the F1 world. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Above the Yellow Line so you don't miss any more Formula One or motorsports content. And also make sure to follow Above the Yellow Line on all social media channels. And if you want to check out any of my content, any independent content that I make on social media, check out the motorsport enthusiast everywhere. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, obviously YouTube. It uh, doesn't matter where it is. Search up the motorsport enthusiast and I'll pop up. I'll see you next week.